Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Bidman and today you are tuned in for a Three Ways Wednesday. Today's Three Ways Wednesday is a little bit different. Instead of showing you how to wear one item of clothing three ways, I'm going to be showing you three different outfit pairings for shorts. In my June edit, I talked about it being kind of necessary in your wardrobe to have a fun short. What is a fun short? A fun short is anything that is in a denim and it isn't a cutoff. So basically anything in a bright color, in a pattern, or it could even be in a neutral but it has a little bit of extra detail. Again, anything that isn't a denim or a cutoff short. So let's get started with the outfit. The first outfit is going to be the one that I'm wearing. So here is outfit formula number one. It is a button up with a fun short. This button up, it's white, but it's in gauze. So it's super, super breathable and just so good. It does have a full length sleeve. I've rolled it all the way up to my elbow and it has almost like a mandarin collar meets a traditional collar, which is really, really fun. It does make for a little bit of less opening right here. So with this shirt, I would either go with a simple chain necklace or I would go with some statement woven earrings. So, so fun. And then of course, because we are showing off our wrists so much more in summer, it's a great time to not only wear statement jewelry or statement rings, but also statement bracelets. So this one is a stretchy bracelet in a wooden detail. And yes, it does make a little bit of noise. But I feel like with these shorts, which are orange and coral and white, it just gives that summer fun vibe. Now, the shorts are from Ann Taylor Loft, and honestly, I think Ann Taylor Loft does some of the best fun shorts every single year. There's always at least one pair of shorts that I have to have, and I think they just like force you to step outside of your comfort zone a little bit with some of the patterns and the color combinations, but... The great thing about a fun short is that you can always pair it back to a neutral. So just like with a skirt that has lots of different colors or a top or a bottom or anything like that, you can pull any of the colors that are in the short pattern and put it on the top. I really like this combination of going with a neutral and a print short, but I also really like doing a button down with a short as well. I just think it elevates it especially one like this one because it has an elastic waistband and it has that little tie that you can do. So you can go really, really casual with a white t-shirt if you're going to the beach or just having a really casual knock around day at the house. But if you're going out and running errands or, you know, just really anything that you want to elevate your everyday, swapping out that t-shirt for a button down in the same neutral color that you would normally grab for your t-shirt is a great way to just instantly elevate that everyday look and it just gives you a little bit more coverage and it looks a little bit more sophisticated than a t-shirt and a short. So what are we wearing for our accessories? You know, it just totally depends on what you're doing, but you can always add a hat. Now for me, okay, my hat, I'm not going to lie, I got caught in a rainstorm <laughs> a few days ago, so my, my hat is kind of recovering. My, I love Brixton hats. So you can get Brixton at Nordstrom. That's where I get mine. I have a slightly bigger head. I think maybe because I have so much hair, but I might also just have a bigger head. And traditional, just like one size women's hats don't fit me very well. So I found that Brixton is my go-to brand for hats. They have great hats for the fall, great hats for the summer. This one I got last year, it has just a really kind of mushroom champagne color that runs around it. So that's a great way to just kind of add an extra fun zip to this outfit. I love switching out my sunnies for something oversized and almost like an aviator vibe as well. These are from Bowdoin. They don't sell these exact ones this year, but they are selling a cat eye that's oversized. And of course, any sunglass hat or anywhere that sells sunglasses, you can get some oversized sunnies in kind of that aviator style, that 70s style that is really, really popular in the summer. Shoes. What are we wearing on our feet? So for me, I kind of go with the French idea of dressing with shorts. 
If it's above the knee, which obviously shorts are, then I'm going to go with a flat. My go-to is going to be the golden woven or the golden wraparound gladiator style sandal from Dolce Vita. These are my go-to with pretty much anything right now. They're super comfortable. They move with me as I'm moving throughout the day and they're a really great driving shoe. If I just need something to slip on and slip off, then I'm going to grab my Mark Fisher ones. These are a leather. They just elevate, again, that regular flip-flop. Even if you have a leather flip-flop, I just feel like something like this takes it up another notch. Super comfortable, very padded footing, and, you know, really great for those days when you just want to do, like, a little walk maybe after work or when your significant other comes home and you still want to enjoy the sunshine or you're just running out to quickly water something in your garden. As far as bags, as always, it really, really depends on what you're doing that day. Never, <laughs> especially for my moms out there, never sacrifice function for the cute bag, okay? There are lots and lots of cute bags now that are also very functional for whatever you're doing. If you are, maybe you're meeting some girlfriends out on a patio for some fun, Grab your clutch in a fun color that pops one of the colors in your fun short. So this, again, is from Kate Spade. Very, very old, but you can absolutely find a leather clutch in lots of different colors now. Marc Jacobs does some really fun ones. Kate Spade is always a great place to go. Tori Birch is another great kind of go-to for fun colors. Or you can grab something like this. And if you're going out for a little bit longer and you need to grab all the snacks, maybe some diapers, wipes, anything, or all the things, something like this is a really, really great size. Um, I can't say enough good things about this handbag. It is just so well made and so good and can carry quite a bit. You can wear it on your shoulder. You can wear it crossbody. You can even just put your hand through whatever you need to do. This one does a great job. It's in kind of a saddle color, woven detail, handmade, excellent, excellent bag. So that is the whole outfit for outfit number one. So just to recap, we are going with a neutral button down, fun short, leather sandal, some kind of a handbag, and then, you know, mix and match your aviator style, 70s style sunglasses, and maybe a hat, depending on what you're doing and where you're going. So outfit one, we're good to go. Outfit number two is that really fun outfit that's kind of that go-between that I always like to do for number two. So this one has a little bit more coverage. It also feels a little bit more grown up, a little bit more elevated. Are you going to the beach in this outfit? Probably not. Are you running errands? Yes. Are you doing drop-offs and pickups? Yes. Could you meet the girlfriends for brunch? Yes. All of those things. So a step up from outfit one, which was a little bit more on the casual side, we are still going with a statement short in a fun pattern, but it's kind of grounded in a neutral. It's grounded in that khaki, army, green that we're really, really seeing and loving this spring. It's also going to be a really good short to transition into fall. It's going to be a fun one to pair with sweaters as the weather gets a little bit cooler, whereas the orange short is like, you got to wear it now in the summer because come like end of August, come September when it's still a little bit warm, you might not want to wear that as much just because we get those fall vibes. So this is definitely a short that's going to carry you all the way from now into September, depending on the weather and where you live, of course. So this one also, this outfit also incorporates a jacket, which I think is really nice because sometimes in the morning, even in the summer, it can be a little bit cool or maybe you're vacationing somewhere and you have to go out and get that morning coffee and croissant and you just, you know, you just need a little jacket or you're going somewhere where there might be a blast of air conditioning. It's just nice to have a little jacket. So the jacket is a camp style, it's a utility style, and it is in a twill, which is really great. A little bit heavier than a linen, so it's definitely going to keep you warm in those air-conditioned situations, but it's not so heavy that you're going to be dying as you're like going from air-conditioned to not air-conditioned. Underneath, I paired it with one of those neutral tanks that I also talked about in the June edit. 
These tanks are such a staple and such a great way to mix and match going from work to play to dinner and out. They're just so good. So make sure that you have a couple kind of grown up dressier tanks that aren't in that really fine rib that feel like a knock around kind of tank. Something in a wider ribbing that just feels a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit of a nod to the 90s as well. But we're kind of updating it with the utility style and with a really fun short. So instead of going with a statement earring with this piece, I'm going with a statement necklace. Why? Because even though I have a higher neckline, I want to continue that up and down feeling. And sometimes when you wear a boxier cropped jacket, it's a good idea to not have everything kind of sitting around your face. The collar is already drawing attention to your face. And again, because we're wearing a white or a cream neutral color, the attention is right here already. So if I put an earring here instead of a necklace, I'm going to feel a little top heavy. But by putting a little bit of a longer statement necklace, it just elongates the body. It helps the viewer's eye move up and down a little bit better. You could also go really, really simple with a necklace like this one, and that would elongate even more. And you could absolutely grab one of the colors that's in the short and do kind of a fun natural stone moment as well. So that would be a really good idea. I've switched out the wooden bracelet for a stack of three. These are from Ever Eve, and I've kind of combined a couple different ones into this little look, but mostly natural stones, creams, whites, golds, and then a little bit of a pop of color. Because these shorts are grounded in a more neutral, unsaturated green, I wanted to pull some of those colors and some of those unsaturated colors into the bracelet and not just do whites and creams as well. So that's a really fun nod. Now, how can you pop this outfit even more? You can pop it with your handbag. So as soon as you grab any of the colors that are in the short, all of a sudden it becomes a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun. You can also go a little bit more neutral. Again, with the same bags as I showed with outfit number one. And it just, like this one reads a little bit more sophisticated, this one reads a little bit more playful. Color equals playful, neutral equals sophisticated, and often work. What are we wearing on our feet? Again, same options as before. You can go with a metallic sandal or a wraparound sandal like the Dolce Vita. You can go with an elevated slip-on like the Mark Fisher leather ones. Or, you know, you can do an even more fun sandal in, again, one of these colors. Color, again, reads more playful. Neutral reads a little bit more grown-up, sophisticated. So, depending on where you're going and depending on what you're doing, choose that pop of color or go with a neutral, and you can't go wrong with outfit two. So, again, this formula is going to be the fun short with a neutral tank and then some kind of a jacket. You're gonna look great without the jacket and with the jacket on, which is always key with an outfit like this. So that is outfit two. Outfit number three is great for those special occasions when you are meeting friends up for dinner or you're doing some patio time, you're doing some backyard time, and you wanna be a little bit more elevated. You don't wanna wear your denim shorts. You want to just take it up a notch. So the outfit formula for number three is doing a statement top. So we're flipping it. We've been doing statement shorts. We're doing a statement top with a neutral short, but the neutral short has a little bit of extra detail. This is an eyelet short from Ann Taylor Loft. All these shorts have been from Loft. And this is a short that I got last year and just absolutely love. It's a pull on short, just like the rest of them. But because it's in black, it feels so much more sophisticated. If you don't have a black short, I cannot tell you how often I have reached for these shorts. It doesn't matter if you have the same ones or if you're able to find like an eyelet specific black short, just go out and try on some black shorts. You will be amazed at how often you reach for them to grab with statement tops, button ups, sleeveless tops, all of those things because it just adds an air of elegance and city chic that you can't get with a printed short 
or like a non-neutral short. So again, this is a great one for evening get-togethers when it's really, really hot and like wearing pants is just not an option. Or, you know, you're just like really into shorts and that's totally fine too. So how are we accessorizing this? I've chosen to go with a necklace that almost kind of blends into the eye cap pattern of the blouse. This is from Kendra Scott. I got it a long time ago and it just seems to work with this. It's not really fighting with the statement top. You could go with something a little bit shorter, but because I'm wearing shorts and because it has kind of a lower neckline, I really want the eye to be bouncing up and down. And sometimes, even though I'm 5'7", when I'm wearing shorts, sometimes I can feel short. So I like wearing longer necklaces, especially in the evening, because again, I just feel like the viewer's eye is bouncing up and down and not stopping at my ears and looking at earrings or up here wearing a shorter necklace. You can absolutely start off your day in this outfit and make it a little bit more casual with a hat or even with a bigger leather bag and maybe like your Mark Fisher or some kind of a leather slip-on. You want to elevate it for evening, for that dinner, for that get-together, for drinks on the patio, then you're going to grab your colorful clutch. I'm telling you, coral is such a great way to go. In leather, it is great for spring, great for summer, and it just, honestly, it just goes with so many things in the seasonal palettes of spring and summer. So grab your clutch, you'll grab your metallic leather sandals, you'll grab your giant sunglasses, and you will just be so ready to go. I mean, it doesn't get any cooler than this. This is also a really great vacation outfit as well because you, again, you just feel a little bit more sophisticated because you're in your black shorts. You feel a little bit more put together, but it's easy peasy. You're wearing a top, you're wearing shorts, statement, neutral, with a little bit of detail, fun pop of color, metallic, giant sunglasses. You look like a movie star. You're ready to go. So that is outfit three. Thank you guys so much for watching this Three Ways Wednesday. As we get into warmer weather, I think shorts are just such a fun thing to play around with. And I think they get overlooked a lot of the time because we get really into the cutoffs and we get really into the denim. But don't forget about your fun shorts. So if you haven't caught my June edit video, I kind of walk through five key pieces for getting you through or starting your summer with a bang. And then I'm going to be breaking them down on the Three Ways Wednesdays and also on Mondays for special events and very specific things. So make sure that you're catching all of those videos. As always, you do not have to own these exact items in order to get the same look. Take these outfits ideas as that. They are just ideas. They are starting points for you to go back into your wardrobe, start to mix and match, kind of dress up your shorts, maybe get a new pair of fun shorts and a fun new pattern, and you will be blown away with how many ways that you can style them and have some fun with your clothes. So thank you again for watching. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, and on Mondays, as I said, tackling specific things to make your life a little bit easier and a little bit more glossy. So make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye.